Welcome to Professional Certifications Channel. In this video, we're diving into Chapter 1 of ICD 10 CM, which covers certain infectious and parasitic diseases, coded from A00 to B99. This chapter is critical for medical coders, especially those working in infectious disease clinics, emergency departments, or global health programs. Let's break it down. Section 1 Overview of the Chapter Chapter 1 deals with diseases caused by infectious agents such as bacteria, viruses, parasites, and certain fungi. These include common conditions like tuberculosis, HIV, sepsis, and intestinal infections, as well as tropical diseases and zoonotic infections. The codes in this chapter are grouped by organism type and clinical condition. Section 2 Key Code Ranges Here's a quick breakdown of major code categories in Chapter 1. A00 to A09, Intestinal Infectious Diseases Includes cholera, A00, typhoid, A01, and common gastroenteritis, A09. Example, a patient with viral gastroenteritis may be coded as A08.4. A15 to A19, tuberculosis covers pulmonary TB, A15, TB of nervous system, A17, and disseminated TB, A19. Tip, you often need to reference microbiological confirmation from labs. A30 to A49, other bacterial diseases. Includes leprosy, A30, tetanus, A33, diphtheria, A36, and sepsis, A40 to A41. Note, sepsis coding can be complex check the provider's documentation closely. A50 to A64, sexually transmitted infections. Syphilis, A50 to A53, gonorrhea, A54, chlamydia, A55 to A56. Example, chlamydial infection of lower genitourinary tract, A56.01. B20, HIV disease. This is one of the most important codes. Use B20 for confirmed HIV with symptoms or conditions like Kaposi's sarcoma. Use Z21 for asymptomatic HIV. B25 to B34, viral infections. Covers herpes, B00, varicella, B01, measles, B05, rubella, B06, and more. B95 to B97 bacterial and viral infectious agents. Used as secondary codes to indicate the infectious agent responsible for a condition. B99, unspecified infectious diseases. Use only when no further detail is available. Section 3, Important Coding Tips. Let's go through some coding tips to avoid common errors. 1. Confirm the diagnosis. Never code based on suspected or ruled out infections unless documentation clearly supports it. 2. Use additional codes to specify the infectious agent whenever required. 3. Sequence properly. If a patient is hospitalized for sepsis due to pneumonia, and sepsis is the primary reason for admission, code sepsis first, followed by pneumonia and the causative organism. 4. HIV coding. Confirmed HIV with conditions, B20. Asymptomatic HIV, C21. Exposure to HIV, C20.6. HIV counseling, Z71.7. Section 4, Real-World Examples. Let's look at a few real-life scenarios. Example 1. A patient diagnosed with confirmed pulmonary tuberculosis. Code, A15.0, tuberculosis of lung confirmed by sputum smear. Example 2. A patient has HIV and is being treated for oral candidiasis. Code, B20 for HIV and B37.0 for candidiasis, as a manifestation. Example 3. A child presents with symptoms of measles with pneumonia. Code, B05.2, Measles Complicated by Pneumonia. Section 5, Common Diagnoses to Know. Here are some frequent conditions you'll see from Chapter 1. 
sepsis, A40 to A41. Gastroenteritis, A08 to A09. HIV AIDS, B20. Tuberculosis, A15 to A19. Influenza, B34. Dengue fever, A90. That wraps up our look at Chapter 1 of ICD-10-CM, Certain Infectious and Parasitic Diseases. This chapter is rich with important conditions that are vital in both outpatient and inpatient settings. Don't forget to review guidelines on sepsis and HIV coding, and always double-check documentation. Subscribe for the next chapter on neoplasms, and if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow medical coders.